hey guys welcome back to my channel I'm back with more videos I got so many feedback on the YouTube channel regarding this series and I'm very thankful for your feedback you guys really pushed me to make further videos so in this episode we are going to integrate group chat within our current system so for that let's get started with the database setup so i'm going to add a couple of tables here php artisan make migration create uh, message groups table and then we need message group members table so let's let's add our columns here so message groups table will holds all the information about our groups name so we need table is string name here and also let's add unsigned integer and user ID this user ID indicates the creator of the group so let's set column here creator of the group and then let's add columns in the message groups member so message groups members will hold all the information I mean all the user IDs of the particular group so we need table and sign integer user ID here so let's add status column as well we may need it later also this message groups members table uh, belongs to the message groups table so let's add column for that unsigned integer message group id so so far so good so let's make model for that php artisan make model first of all message group and then we create message group member model as well so let's open message group model and then protected fill label let's uh, add our columns here user id name and then let's open message group member I'm using shortcut to open these files and uh, if you are using different uh, editor then you can uh, use different shortcut or simply go to the uh, this folder I mean here we are message group and message group members so you can open that way as well no problem at all so let's add our column here as well in the fillable properties So user ID and then message group ID and then status as well so this message group member 
belongs to message group so public function message group return this belongs to message group class so just like this message group has many message group members so public function message groups member public function message group members return this has many message group member class sorry so here we go so we added couple of tables here and then um, let's go to our user message table here is chat application database and here is user messages tables so we need message group id here for the group chat i mean uh, for the individual chat we have sender id and receiver id we are doing good with this but for group chat we need to add column here so the message group id so let's add that php artisan make make migration add add columns to user messages table so here you go again i use the shortcut you can go to the respective folder directory to find the file no problem at all and then we need to add column here so that column will be message group id but this this column can be nullable because uh, for individual chat we don't need this but for the group chat we need this column so let's make it nullable <laughs> and then let's go to the user message model so just like um, user message table belongs to message and now we need to add another relation here actually user message table now belongs to message group as well so public function message group return mm, this belongs to message group class and then public function user messages
this has many user message class so we are done with the relations